welcome to the Sharing the Learning PB Works event. Hi, my name's Jess Hall. I'm from PB Partners and I'm going to be facilitating some of the day, getting people to think about where PB might go next in Northern Ireland. Hi, I'm Alan Budge. I work for PB Partners. We've been supporting the work in Northern Ireland and I was working on Rathlin Island in particular, which I've very much enjoyed. So we're here today to see how the whole project's gone. I'm looking forward to an interesting day. And we're here to really have a celebration event this morning to share some of the great PB work that's been happening right across the region. Most importantly, we're going to be hearing from the people who've actually been involved in PB processes. It's about their real practical experience and to ask lots of questions from the audience and then share some of the learning through the, the video and also through an impact report. So we have Andrew Grounds and Brendan Murda who've been out talking with all of the people who've been involved in the process to date and the, the learning together from the process so that we can actually inform how we move forward and, and maybe look at it in, in more strategic way also. And then in the afternoon, bringing everybody together to have that really important discussion about how we continue to support and bring PB forward. So I'm Mark. I'm just doing registration this morning. My name is Louise Ward-Hunter, I work at the Department for Communities where I look after housing, urban regeneration and local government. I'm here today at the Participatory Budgeting Works uh, Conference uh, to make my contribution and to learn more. My department is very keen to find innovative and new ways of enabling communities to find their voice and to engage more effectively on planning on things that make sense for them. So I'm here today to learn more about that and to give my support to what our event is all about. Um, we've just been talking with um, people that have been de delivering PB in, in Northern Ireland in various contexts, finding out what their experience of PB was. I think it was overwhelmingly uh, positive. There was a lot of learning went on. People are concerned about how it's going to be scaled up and taken forward. There's a genuine sense of commitment and, and belief in the value of the PB process amongst the people we were talking with. And I think the room, the audience picked that up very, very clearly. You know, there's a lot of enthusiasm for PB and uh, the people who've been doing it on the ground were, uh, were evidence of that this morning. I think it was great to have the opportunity to, to do this uh, research uh, for a number of reasons. I think well, largely because of the enthusiasm of the, the individuals who have been doing their own PB events or enacting their own PB processes. Um, I think that enthusiasm, seeing what they've done, how they've done it, um, and the le capturing some of the learning from those individual stories has been, has been a fantastic opportunity. I think it's been brilliant. I think it, the passion that's come out from some of the people on the panel was really great. And in particular, I really love Margaret's comment, Margaret who was involved in the Triangle Housing Project, who said that uh, the government needs to take its fingers out and allow the people to have their voice heard, and I thought that was really what it's all about. I think it's been a really great day, there's been loads of motivation and, and, and people being passionate about where PB might be in five years. Yeah, there's been a real warm feeling in the room today, a real sense of willingness to take this whole idea forward, so I'm happy with how things have gone today, are you? Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to coming back again and again and really seeing this grow over the next few years. Absolutely. Bring it on.